Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dietrich, and this is the end of an era. This is a 2024 Toyota Camry LE, a base model Camry for 2024, and this is the last of the cheap Toyota Camrys. For 2025, all the Toyota Camrys will be hybrid models. This 2024 LE is just a regular gasoline engine and automatic transmission. And even though the MSRP on the 2025 models is only going up by about $1,000, and some back of the business card car salesman math regarding increased fuel savings could justify that over a five-year ownership period, when I say this is the last of the cheap Toyota Camrys, what I mean is it's the last one that you will be able to buy and drive for 20 years and put 300,000 miles on and not suffer any major mechanical issues as long as you do the correct scheduled maintenance. With the hybrid model, eventually you will have to replace the battery within the first 300,000 miles and that is a major expense. So for posterity's sake, I'm going to do one last review on a 2024 Camry LE. We'll look at the engine and transmission, we'll measure out the cargo room, we'll look at the passenger room, and we will check out the features and the safety features, and you can use the slidey bar right below you to find what you're most interested in. So we'll start by looking under the hood and seeing what we are going to lose. This is a 2.4 liter straight four engine, dual overhead cam, 203 horsepower and 184 pound feet of torque. No mild hybrid system, no regular hybrid system. This is just a gasoline engine and it is hooked up to an eight speed torque converter direct shift automatic transmission. This is a powertrain that again, given proper regular scheduled maintenance, should last you a good 300,000 miles. And that's what we are losing in this generation of Camry when they go to all hybrids. Eventually that battery is gonna have to be replaced within the first 200,000 miles. So if you really wanna buy a car and keep it for 20 years, get one of these while you still can. The engine itself provides decent power. It's no hot rod by any stretch of the imagination, but you do have plenty of power for getting onto the freeway, merging into traffic, getting around town, no problems at all. It's relatively smooth, it's relatively refined, certainly not the smoothest or most refined four-cylinder engine on Earth, but it goes about its business in an agreeable way, and it is a very nice powertrain, and it suits the car quite well. Unfortunately, I don't have time to do a fuel economy test on this particular car, but I have done one on a Camry SE with this same powertrain, and the results were very good, and I'll put a link to that in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Now we will measure out the trunk space in the Toyota Camry. So we will get our laser tape measure and do just that. The length of the trunk from the rear of the trunk to the back seat with the seat up, three feet and three inches. The maximum width of the trunk in what I call the golf club hole from there to there is a very wide five feet and four inches. I did that measurement three times and that's what it came up with. So fit a lot of golf clubs in this car. The minimum width of the trunk, kind of in between the wheel wells from there to right there, three feet and seven inches. The height of the interior of the trunk, one feet and nine inches. But we do have an LED cargo light right there, so that's cool. Maximum length of the trunk with the seats folded down is about six feet, but it's kind of a moot point because you can see here that's with both the seats folded down. There's a giant hump in the way to putting stuff in there, so it's really kind of only putting long and slender items in. It's not a great cargo area with the seats folded down. Hopefully Toyota can improve that with the next generation Camry. But if you need to lift something into the back of your 2024 Camry, you will need to lift it two feet and four inches off of the ground. And just for fun, we do have some tools back here and we have a space saver spare tire, but it is included. So that's a nice touch in the cargo area on the 2024 Camry LE. Now we're gonna have a look at the passenger space and for this measurement, I use myself. I'm six foot five, so let's see if I can sit behind myself 
in a 2024 Camry LE. Okay, so the answer to this question after all that is just about. I can sit in the front, I have good knee room, I have good head room, I'm okay here. If I get into the back, <clears throat> my knees are up against the chair, my head is up against the, the ceiling just barely, I have no air vents, Ah, but I do have some USB ports for charging devices back here. <clears throat> so that's a nice touch. Your Uber passengers will certainly appreciate that. That's the amount of room behind me in my natural driving position. So that is the passenger room in the 2024 Toyota Camry LE. Now we'll move on to the interior of the 2024 Camry LE, and this is a base model of a vehicle that is a relatively old design at this point. In a lot of ways, it kind of shows, but we will start with the positives. The first thing, you do have a standard power driver's seat in this model. That's a nice touch and certainly not something that is necessarily standard in this class. It has adjustable lumbar support, it's height adjustable, and it is a pretty comfortable seat, so I do appreciate that. We have a seven inch touchscreen that does include Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It's also possible to install a navigation app into it from your Toyota dealer if you would like to do that. The screen works fine, but it does look somewhat dated. When you go into audio and select media as source, there's still a little picture of a CD icon, even though there is, of course, no CD player. AM, FM, and satellite radio are all standard on the Camry LE, so again, that's a nice touch as well. Dual zone climate control is standard too, so you can set separate temperatures for the driver and the passenger, even though, as we just learned, there are no rear air vents. And on the exterior, 17-inch wheels and LED headlights are standard equipment as well. The LED headlights are, again, a nice touch for the class. And other than that, everything else is pretty much how you would expect it to be. We have cloth interior for the seats. We do have a little bit of contrasted stitching on the dashboard, which makes things look nice. Overall, the interior is a relatively nice place to spend time. It's not ergonomically perfect, but I'm sure that whatever is wrong with it, they will fix with the new 2025 hybrid models. Now we will talk about the safety features, and Toyota Safety Sense does come standard even on the base model Camry LE. You get the forward collision mitigation, which will warn you if there is a vehicle or an obstacle in front of you that the car thinks you're gonna hit. And if you don't react, it will apply the brakes to try to prevent the accident or at least lessen the severity of the accident. You have the lane keeping assistance, which tries to keep the Camry centered in its lane. If the camera can read the lane lines and you are drifting out of your lane, we do have adaptive cruise control on this car, but because it only has a manual parking brake, it doesn't have the electronic parking brake, it will only operate at speeds over 20 miles per hour. If you go below 20 miles per hour, the system shuts itself off and you have to take over. And of course, the adaptive cruise in this Camry cannot bring itself to a complete stop. But if you get one of the higher level Camrys that has the electronic parking brake, it will. And you have automatic high beams, and also the car's camera can recognize road signs to keep you apprised of the local speed limit, just in case you are speeding with your 203 horsepower Camry LE. Thank you so much for watching my video on this 2024 Toyota Camry LE. The Camry has been a car that has come in for a kicking from a lot of car enthusiasts over the years, but I have to admit that I have liked the latest versions of the Camry that I have driven, this one included. I am looking forward to reviewing a 2025 hybrid model when I get the chance, so please like my video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for that, and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.